Now if you talk about SCST student, then 120 if you will get, then you will be getting surely the top 5 GFTI with CS CST, then for CSE at 90 or 85 marks and at the CSE at 75 marks and lower branch at 45, 50 marks as well. So I think this is Amin in your Ajmal video. Here I am going to discuss about the minimum marks in the second attempt that you need to a score in JMS 2023 to get the GFTI college. I have discussed the same thing for NIT, Triple IT. Now I am going for GFTI. Once the JMS will be done, I will provide you same video for the IITs as well. So here if you are from general EWS, OBC and targeting the top 5 Triple IT college then you need to have around 165 to 170 marks at least and if you are from OBC and EWS you can deduct 5 marks because you also know there is not lots of difference between general EWS OBC and very few uh, GFTI colleges are having a home state other state quota so there I am not discussing about home state but if you are from home state you will be getting it at low score as well and I am talking about CSE if you go for other branches that is any lower branch that is you just want to enter into GFTI college then you need to have only around 100 130 marks to get the lower branch in the GFTI college actually most of the GFTI are all, only having CSE, IT, EC branch or hardly mechanical and civil but in NIT there are lots of branch available that's why the lower uh, uh, lower uh, lower branch in NIT is a little bit easier to get but in GFTI it is it is lower branch means mechanical civil but in GFTI uh, but in NIT lower branch means material science engineering biotechnology so hope you get my point that that's why there is not lots of difference between CSE and lower branch but in NIT CSE and lower branch difference is quite huge now if you talk about SCST student then 120 if you will get then you will be getting surely the top 5 GFTI with CS branch if you are getting around 70 marks then also you will be getting the lower branch in top 5 GFTI college one more thing I would like to inform about PWD is transfer from PWD you want to get top 5 GFTA with CSE branch then you need to have around uh, 50 marks and for lower branch you can get at 20 marks as well now if you talk about the top 10 then for general EWS OBC you need to score around 145 marks to get the CSE branch and for lower branch you can get at 115 or 20 marks as well and for SCST you will be getting at 100 marks at CSE and at 65 or 60 marks the lower branches and for PWD you will get CSE as 35 and lower branch you can get at 10 to 12 marks as well now if you talk about top 20 then for general AWS OBC CSE branch will be at around 130 marks and the lower branch will be available around 100 or 100 10 marks as well and now if you talk about for SCST then for CSE at 90 or 85 marks and for other branches you can get at 50 marks as well now if you talk about the uh, uh, PWDS trend then 25 marks for CSE and only 8, 7 to 8 marks for lower branch now if you talk about the lower GFTA college then for general AWS OBC around 115 marks to get the CSE when at 110 you can get but the paper will be but if the paper will be easy then you need to score 5 to 10 marks more if the paper will be hard you need to score 5 to 10 marks less whatever i am telling now for lower branches you can get at 80 or 85 marks as well now if you talk about the uh, SCST student you will get the CSE at 75 marks and lower branch at 45 50 marks as well now if you talk about the PWD strand then you will get CSE at 20 marks and the lower branch you can get at any marks 0, 1, 2, 3 also because those are very less demandable. So this was about the complete information regarding the GFTA college that is minimum of score that you need to have in second attempt to get the CSE or other branches in the top 5, top 20, top 10 and lower GFTA college. Thank you.